This wedding was an assignment for my Religion 2 class in Catholic. This one's wife. The frozen eggs theory. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. The dynamic that takes place between a narcissist parent and his or her child or children is always an interesting one. Some narcissists never want children. This is because the child would be seen to get in the way. The needs of the child will be seen to conflict with the needs of the narcissist. And therefore, the narcissist decides that they are not going to bother having children. I fall into one of those categories whereby I decided that I did not want to have children. I did not see that there was any purpose that they would serve that would be advantageous to me. I know there are many people who say, thank goodness you did so, we wouldn't want you to breed HG, and I understand that sentiment. It does not concern me. The fact is, I made that decision because it suited me the best. It enabled me to pursue the prime aims and discharge what I see as important to me without the hindrance of some crotch goblins. Notwithstanding that view, and there are other narcissists who adopt a similar approach, it isn't the majority position when it comes to narcissists. Most narcissists tend to have children, primarily because it's an excellent way of asserting control over the intimate partner primary source. By getting that intimate partner primary source pregnant at an early juncture, that causes that IPPS to believe that they are truly loved and that that somebody wants to create a family with them results in such a state of affairs that they believe that they are truly loved and this is to last forever. What could be more meaningful than somebody wanting to have a child with you? Similarly, certain narcissists of the female persuasion want to become pregnant at an early juncture in order to demonstrate to the non-narcissist male intimate partner primary source their dedication to them. I love you so much. I want to bear your children. And as a consequence of that, it results in them becoming pregnant. It's very much a means of assertion of control. And remember, this takes place in the golden period, where at that point, the narcissist honestly believes that they do want to share children with this person and bring them up together. The attitude of the narcissist will vary towards the children thereafter. In some instances, they're doted on, that they are given everything to the exclusion of the intimate partner primary source. In other instances, they find themselves abused, find themselves on the receiving end of the ignited fury of the narcissist when they get in the way. There are lots of different ways that that parent will interact with those children, and I've detailed those in separate videos. I've also explained to you the position with regard to this one's wife. Naturally, there are some of you who believe that she doesn't have any children. Others believe that the children that exist were born through a surrogate and she didn't give birth to them. And then there are others who do believe that she did indeed give birth. I mentioned in a video recently the theory that this one's wife had experienced an hysterectomy. This, of course, would afford a particular means of control with regard to the issue of pregnancy. But since control is so important to a narcissist, this issue of a potential hysterectomy also raised a, a further thought which appertains to the issue of frozen eggs. Information was placed before me to suggest that given the age at which she had it, there was the possibility for this one's wife to elect to have her eggs removed and frozen prior to surgery, to offer the opportunity to have biological children in the future via surrogacy. In effect, the individual would have the best of both worlds. They would have a hysterectomy which would allow them to assert control with regard to the issue of fertility, and of course there may be medical reasons why a hysterectomy had to take place, but it will also enable the possibility of biological offspring in the future 
allowing the narcissist control in both senses. Control if, for instance, the hysterectomy was being taken as a form of permanent birth control. Control if it was with regard to nullifying a threat to control posed by illness, by disease. Control by still having the opportunity to have children in the future, albeit via surrogacy. And therefore, whilst there is no direct evidence whatsoever to suggest that this one's wife has had her eggs frozen, it is a possibility that would appeal to a narcissist because it would enable those various assertions of control which I've just explained to you. And given the repeated rumours that this one's wife has had an hysterectomy, might it be that she had her eggs frozen also? It's a possibility that she would have done so, as I say, to maintain the possibility of children in the future. And therefore, as I explained at the outset of the video, becoming pregnant is very much a means of asserting control over the intimate partner primary source. Thus, when it came to Prince Harry, she of course utilised lashing as a spicy poontang through sex in order to assert control over him and ensnare him. She gave the appearance of understanding his vulnerabilities. She gave the appearance of compassion. That she mirrored the things that he liked, all done to wrap one after the other after the other by way of tendrils around him. And of course to seal the deal, become pregnant. And therefore, even though she may have had an hysterectomy, were it the case that she had her eggs frozen, she would be able to utilise his sperm and thus have children with him, thus wrapping another tendril around him. This, of course, is speculation, albeit speculation within the, the auspices of the fact that a narcissist may well behave this way. But furthermore, Evidence has been placed in front of me with regard to similarities between this one's wife and Lilibet with regard to their feet. Now, as you'll see on the screen, there is a picture taken some time ago of this one's wife and the person that was posting this on Twitter as it then was is highlighting what they say is the ugliness of this one's wife's feet. And you'll see a very prominent second toe. You'll also then see the picture, many of, whom, many of which people think um, is photoshopped, showing this one's wife holding up Lily when she was younger. And then the third picture is a close-up of her feet, and you'll notice the protruding second toe, just like her mother. Might this be evidence that Lilibet is indeed biologically that of this one's wife and that it was a combination of bringing the sperm from Prince Harry, her eggs, which had been frozen previously prior to this apparent hysterectomy and therefore Lilibet was indeed created from sperm and egg of Harry and this one's wife but was done so through surrogacy, hence all of the secrecy that has surrounded the birth of Lilibet. Is this something a narcissist might do? Undoubtedly it is. Is it something that has happened? We don't know. But it is an interesting theory that has been advanced and enables me to explain to you another aspect of this one's wife's narcissism. What do you think about this? Do you think it's possible that she had a hysterectomy and froze her eggs? And therefore, this was the outcome, that Lilibet is indeed her child, utilised from her eggs and Harry's sperm, or do you have an alternative view? Let me know in the comments section. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.